Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown, who is considering, or was considering, was. I should say, running for president, just decided not to, was just a guest of Allison Camerata, and under, I think, withering questioning Boom. from Allison, had a response which made my eyes pop to the news of the Beto O'Rourke announcement. Let's listen to this. No reaction. I just, uh, one more, one more, one more gets in the race. Me and Malika Henderson, uh, that wasn't jumping up and down. Yeah, I, I mean, it was essentially like a yawn. I, I mean, it, it was just sort of like, meh. Uh, and, <laughs> and I think in some ways you might see that from other folks on the Hill. Uh, you know, Beto O'Rourke kind of left a light footprint uh, when he was in Congress, didn't really do much. He talked about that, I think, in the Vanity Fair article, essentially said, well, uh, they weren't in the majority, so it was difficult to get things done. He was just a, you know, sort of a backbench uh, congressman, so so he doesn't have much of a, a legislative record uh, there. But that was, I, I think, fascinating to see Sherrod Brown's a uh, reaction there. You have had much more of a reaction uh, to Bi the prospect of Biden, for instance, getting in because he has uh, had you know such a long relationship with folks on, on the Hill there. And, it, and I think it also does get at sort of like what is. Beto or Wark's uh, argument for why he should be president. One of the things he says is that he can bring people together. Uh, he's a good listener. If you look at that Vanity Fair article, it's a lot about uh, him. It's a, a lot about uh, how he is so, you know, kind of energized by the crowd there and, and the, the masses of people he's able, able to gather there. So I, I think you have a field that is a lot of, you know, experienced folks, people in the Senate, people with a lot of accomplishment, people who know policy really well. And so that is going to have to be something that I think mm -hmm. Beto or work, works on as he works his way uh, through this race and through this primary. Jay Mart, your reaction to Sherrod Brown's lukewarm yawn? Politics is a human business, and that was a human reaction. Uh, and one of a member of Congress for over a quarter of a century, a three-term senator who spent much of the early part of this year uh, exploring his own campaign for the presidency, somebody who has won a swing state that actually leans red three times. Uh, and then ruled uh, last week, uh, you know, ruled out that, that uh, he was going to run. But someone who wanted to, to uh, you know, run, considered it himself, went to all the early states. Uh, and then to come on uh, you, your, your guy's great show at 7.30 this morning and be asked about a three-term House member uh, who lost his statewide election uh, and his candidacy for president. I don't think he was thrilled about, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, talking about it that much. I mean, that's just, okay, politics is the kind of thing where, Vanity and egos matter, and this is somebody who takes great pride in his capacity to win in Ohio and pride in his legislative record, one that, as Nia points out, uh, Mr. O'Rourke does not share in the halls of Congress. And it does speak to, I think, this broader unease uh, with Beto among kind of old Democratic pros who see a lot of um, a lot of, you, you know, uh, charisma there, certainly, but question what's underneath the hood. Okay.